All right, we've been talking to travel expert Janine Tornatori for years. I didn't realize she was going to be here with us, live and in person. Yes. So it is so good to meet you in person and to have you visit with us as you still drop the uh, travel knowledge on us. So yeah, it's great to be here. Welcome to town. Today we're talking about winter travel deals, and we're talking about, uh, before we came on, about what a special time of year that is to kind of dream about a getaway. It uh, is. A lot of people don't think about it. I think no year. matter where you are, yeah. in January, after the holidays, yeah. after a few weeks into the month, you're just ready to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. Something um, to look forward to, maybe. Absolutely. Because spring break is still a little ways off for yeah. a lot of people. So this is a really great time of year because there are a lot of great deals out there during this January, early February time period. So the first place I have is Keystone, Colorado. Mm. But Texas is a big state for skiing. Everybody yeah. wants to head somewhere cold and enjoy a lot of the snow that you don't get here, mm -hmm. typically. Um, and Keystone, I think, is one of the best values you're going to find in a world class ski resort. Uh, first of all, they just received a foot of snow since last weekend, so great conditions out there right okay. now. During January into February, they have 40% off their lodging, and they also have a great kids ski free program. So if you stay two or more nights at one of their properties, your kids 12 and under will ski for free during your entire stay. That's so cool. So that alone is a great value. Uh, and then th this year, what's new is they have their Kidtopia Signature Event Series, um, which you may have not experienced before. It's brand new this year. They have in February a Kids Culinary Festival in March a kids music experience so I just really love this resort, over, resort overall for families and we were talking about people that don't ski mm -hmm. and you don't have to ski to enjoy no. these ski towns anymore there's tubing ice skating snowshoeing spa services mm -hmm. you don't even have to leave the lodge and you can really enjoy it so you to give the you rest of your family yes out there. but flights I found in early February from Austin um, into Denver are $208 round trip so affordable and again 40% off lodging you can't really do better than yeah. that he's on a very nice resort like it's you a said, wonderful that resort Kind of deal. Okay, uh, maybe the beach is more your speed. You can get, uh, or out in the desert. Yeah, so, so yeah. sometimes this time of year the beaches can be rather pricey. So yeah. I was looking at other nice warm places to go. Sedona, Arizona is one of my favorites, especially if you're an outdoor enthusiast. I've been there. I hear great things. It doesn't get it. any better. This yeah. time of year you get the warm days and cool nights, and it's relatively off season, so you can have it to yourself this time of year. Mm -hmm. uh, but you'll find over 300 miles of trails for hiking, mountain biking, horseback riding, Jeep tours. Um, you can day trip to the Grand Canyon also close by is the oldest ghost town in America cool. so there's just a lot of fun things to do in this area I found hotels from $150 a night and these are those nice resort properties where you get a lot of amenities included with it and flights from uh, Austin from $186 so definitely doable for a nice long weekend okay and now to the beach now to the beach <laughs> or to the boat shall we say oh, the boat. so if you're looking for really for a last minute idea like we were saying sometimes you just want to be like where can I go next yeah. weekend one of the best things for really last minute deals are cruises. You know, these have thousands of cabins on these cruise ships, mm -hmm. but they're leaving the port whether they're full or half yeah. full, so they will discount very heavily if it gets close to their departure date. Um, so if you're looking for a last minute deal, of course you have Galveston nearby. The port there mm -hmm. has a lot of great cruises for Mexico and the Caribbean. I found one to give you an example with departures in February. This is a Royal Caribbean cruise, seven night Western Caribbean cruise with stops in places like Cozumel and Costa Maya. $549. That roughly equals out to $79 a night. And what's great about these cruise ships is, you know, pack your bags, head down there, get yeah. on the ship, your meals and everything oh, are included. Man. So there's not much planning involved, and you know exactly how much you're going to spend, so your budget is kind of set there. Yeah, if you've ever taken a cruise, you know they will spoil you. They like will. You said. You'll come back full <laughs> and beyond suntan. Full, beyond full, yeah. And, and Galveston really has kind of... Uh, uh, blown up as a uh, cruise destination out there. It was out there within the last couple of years. It has. There, there are a lot of options, whether you want to do the seven-night cruises or even just the three or four-night cruises for a quick, long weekend. Oh, wonderful. All right, Jeannie, any way to keep in touch with you as you kind of have more other deals and things? Absolutely. Um, follow me on Twitter. I'm at JM Tornator. Um, best place to see where I post a lot of great deals. Wonderful. Jeannie, thanks so much. So good to yeah. see you in person. You too. All right. We're going to be right back.